the first time in 50 years a church was inaugurated today, Saturday, in the Holy Land, the Church of the Sermon on the Mouth in Galilean settlement of Iblin. This is the largest church in Israel. Its construction lasted two years and the church has the capacity of 1,200 worshippers in its 1,350 square meters hall and 350 square meters balconies. Thousands from Israel and abroad arrived to the ceremony. They were welcomed by calls from Haifa and Mrar and by a colorful parade of Christian scouts. Among the honorary visitors were Vatican's Secretary of State Cardinal Sudano, the Ambassador of Vatican to Israel, Bishop Pietro Sandi, and the Cardinal Gerald Kasper, the Deputy of Damascus Patriarch with the Bishops of the Greek Catholic Church in Syria, Bishops from Lebanon and Europe, Archbishop George Moore from the Jordanian capital Amman, and of course the Latin Patriarch of Jerusalem, Michel Sabach, accompanied by priests and bishops from Nazareth and other parts of the Holy Land. The church was built in the compound of Ablin's Ma Elias Education Institutions, founded by the Achim and Red Professor Elias Shakur, the founder and the president of Ma Elias Educational Institutions, who is more frequently called Abuna, our father in Arabic. The church symbolizes his vision of peace and sorority between all peoples and religions by the means of educational activities carried out in the Ma Elias institution, which are open to everyone with no regard to his or her origin or religion. 4,500 students are enrolled in the Ma Elias educational institutions, ranging from kindergarten to academic studies in the branch of Indianapolis University in the United States, which is operated in the campus of Iblin. Muslims, Christians, Druze, and Jews study here. This is the educational outlook of Father Shakur, stating that peace will be prevail only when different people will learn to live together. This is also the origin of the church's name, Sermon on the Mouth, the famous sermon in which Christ taught his students the standards of giving love and of modesty. Every verse of the sermon is engraved on each one of the steps of church's main staircase. On the completion of the religious services, the priest appeared in the hall and blessed the worshippers and the visitors. They gave special blessing to Father Shakur they pointed out that only a man like him, the one who possessed the vision of peace and sorority, is capable to carry out a project of such a complexity. The final speaker was Father Shakur himself, who paid a long tribute to all the factors and those who carried out the project.